Ronald Weasley. It's love your soul. <laughs> Ach, you butt. Uh, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to the Click You Look Amazing, and I'm sure that you smell amazing as well. Who am I kidding? Of course you do. Today we're going to do something beautiful. We're going to look at our slash facepalm, which is just one of those times when we come together and we do the ha-has and we just enjoy each other's company. Oh my god, it's going to be beautiful. Enjoy. Mwah. We ordered a grill. Got 300 iPads. <laughs> well, maybe you can glue them together in like a grill shape, right? Wait, here's a comment. The opposite of this was literally posted. Wait, wait, what? Really? <laughs> ordered 300 iPads and got a grill? <laughs> oh my god, it's all coming together. This is so beautiful. You can even just reach out to each other and just, yeah, we'll just exchange this, you know. Would it be funny if they like live in the same neighborhood as well? Oh my god. God, the world is beautiful. I had this happen, um, not with grills, but with this camera I'm using right now. Uh, this one, uh, I order it, and when the package came, it was like just a random charger. That was it. That was the entire package. So I was like, okay, I, I guess that must be the charger for the camera. Why are they sending it separately? So I waited a couple days, and I'm like, nope, the rest of the camera isn't arriving. So I reached out to the company, and they're like, oh, sorry, we sent your expensive camera somewhere else. But at least I have this $10 charger I can't even use for anything. Yay! My mom said we should speak Thai in public so we don't get targeted for speaking Mandarin. And I think it's so sweet that she is nice enough to believe that these stupid freaking racists can differentiate between Asian languages. Oh my god. <laughs> This is America. We speak American here. Why is England speaking an American language? It's outrageous. So I came out of the house at five this morning and I saw this bloke leaning on a wall with a walking stick and I thought he must be out of breath. <gasps> Look at that man. How sad. Just went back out and he's still there. I shouted, Mike, you all right? No reply. So I walked over to him to check on him and it's a trampoline net hanging o over the wall. Oh my god, it is! That looks like a- oh my god. Imagine someone watching from the other side of the street. <laughs> You're just checking in on a random piece of debris. Because <laughs> from the other side, it's probably not gonna look like a person, right? So for anyone else watching this from any other perspective, it must look so incredibly ridiculous. <sighs> Isn't that just beautiful? The Bible was written entirely by the greatest American who ever lived, Jesus. Uh, is this a joke or- It's called history, sweaty. Look it up. <laughs> I love, I love, the, I have this weird hatred, but at the same, just glorious love for the people who get something so incredibly wrong, but they tell everyone else to look it up. It's just, it's such a special breed of online person that is just such a beautiful content form. Oh my god. If you see anyone behind this counter with headphones on, or talking on, looking at, or holding a cell phone, take a picture and email it to this email, and we will send you a 20 foot. Oh god, wait. You know you're getting old when, when coffee makes you burpy. Take a picture and send an email to this email, and we will send you a $25 gift certificate. Thank you, management. You, you know your store is heading in the right direction when you are trying to reward uh, customers for dilly-dallying on your... <laughs> When your employees, isn't this the same kind of bias that just went completely downhill during the whole witch burning trend in the olden days? Where you literally had a system that rewarded people for saying that people were witches. So you had this huge uptick in people who were just randomly reporting people in hopes that someone would get burned so they would get paid. Like, this is the same kind of bias BS system. Like, who are they gonna trust? Oh my god. I mean, I suppose they're actually asking for a picture. So I suppose it's not as bad, you know, you didn't have smartphones back in the oldie witch days, but still, this is just atrocious. Can you imagine just an employee taking a phone call for 30 seconds and all the employees in the store, ha <laughs> ha, gotcha! <laughs> now you get fired and I get gift card, yay! Toxic Corporations 101 Americans causing problems An American family who visited the Golan Heights decided to bring back a souvenir. An unexploded artillery shell. Mm -hmm. When they went to the airport to fly home, they showed their actual bomb to security, prompting the guards to evacuate the terminal. <laughs> hey kids, it's fine. But as long as you pour your liquid, we can just bring in this artillery shell through security. It's fine. I swear, it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't come out of its shell. 
<laughs> when you're too busy worrying about your water bottle and, you know, nail clippers that you don't think about the literal bomb you have in your bag. Video, radio star. Today is my first bed at the night school because I don't have certain non-vaccinations. Oh, video killed the radio star. Nice. Man, the anti-vax crowd is is really something, isn't it? My god. That's one thing I've seen happening online so much in the last decade or something that wasn't really as prominent previously. And I think it's because the internet just allows us to connect with people who feel the same way. You watch one Flat Earth video, well, now your whole feed is Flat Earth videos. It's even been proven that, you know, for example, on TikTok, you can watch a video that's like, slightly controversial. And just like two video clicks later, you're like, oh, nice, here's a neo-Nazi page. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Online algorithms have a tendency to radicalize people and make you operate in a bubble, but you think you're operating, you know, on the world stage because it's technically online, even though your algorithm has literally isolated you from any other content or, or point of view. Uh, it, is, it is kind of freaky. It's always good to do a double take yourself as well. Like, okay, am I down a rabbit hole right now or am I watching, you know, a wide array of content and, and opinions or whatever it might be? Um, it's very important to take a step back sometimes because uh, it's a very slippery slope. Why do atheists live on ignore to ignorant thinking from 2014? Jesus' birth on billions of year Earth? Question mark. <laughs> My research show that atheists are the biggest liars on earth because they revolve Jesus. Think from 2014 against an atheist has twice the lies inside than a Christian. They are double brainwashed to be less than recorded history. <coughs> the earth revolves the sun and an atheist revolves <laughs> Jesus. Why are atheists so physics illiterate? Why atheists? Explain to me how you could be so checkmated. Sorry, Chair, I didn't mean to take this out on you. Come here, oh god. I'm not entirely sure what point they're trying to make, but it's very interesting. My child got sent to Zoom detention for not paying attention in Zoom fourth grade. Email said, here's the link to access the room to serve detention. <laughs> I swear, I'm trying so hard to take this life seriously. <laughs> If I had to do that as a kid, I would just print a cardboard cutout of myself and just place it in front of the camera. Like, who's gonna double check? It's a detention Zoom class. <gasps> Technology is beautiful. My boss and I had an ugly sweater competition. So the boss has an ugly sweater and he has a mirror. Oh my god, that's... I would say applied cold water to the burnt area, but there is no cold water that could cure this. The Black Plague disappeared without a vaccine, just saying. <laughs> Hashtag anti-vax. It, uh, it killed one third of Europe. <laughs> I mean, with most of these things, here's the thing. You will reach immunity, probably at some point, no matter what you do. But it's like, you either do a little vaxy-waxy, or you do a little kill a third of the population and you will arrive at some kind of immunity at the end, hopefully, in, in both, uh, you know, things. Uh, make your pick. I was ready to buy a cute doll for my granddaughter for her birthday from Costco. Then I found out it was made in China. Had to put it back. <laughs> Twitter for my phone. <laughs> it's like those, those products are like, made in America. And then you just see in the corner, like, actually made in China. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? At least they thought of it in America, maybe. A bot wrote this uh, obituary and I'm losing my mind. Brenda Tent retired from living at the age of old, surrounded by family and natural causes. <laughs> a librarian from birth. Oh, okay, that, that's a very quick degree. Brenda was an avid collector of dust. She has a sweetheart and married her high school. <laughs> you say that you can marry your job, but... I'm not so sure about high school. She loved having hobbies and helping her sons to be disadvantaged youths. She had no horses, but thought she did. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is getting creepy. The church gave her a choir because she sang like bird and looked like bird, and Brenda was a bird. <laughs> she owed us so many poems. The funeral will be held in 1977 at heaven. A Leo of flowers. Send Brenda more life. <laughs> See you in 1977? Oh my god. Wait, let me collect this. So, she's obviously, you know, living two lives and imagining things. So she's suffering from some something. Uh, because she thinks she has horses, but she doesn't. She's also a bird. Um, and she's married to high school. This is turning into a very complex character, who's also a librarian. Ah, here's the court. 
Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial live updates. What's Gilbert Grape eating? Oh my god, could it be gummy bears? Find out today the most important takes on... <laughs> On the trial, journalism really peaked, didn't it? A lot of letters I am not even gonna pretend I'm able to read. Please wait patiently for the failure of the system. <laughs> isn't that just... <laughs> to be a bit nihilistic, isn't this what we're all just waiting for? My god, imagine if we just, you know, a little casual zombie apocalypse and we could just all pretend to be in a video game. <sighs> The beauty. No more rent, just uh, imminent death. Shout out to Blorp, who managed to make the double digits. I knew I could smell some lead paint on his breath. <laughs> Results. 80. Is in the top 90% in a room of a thousand people is smarter than 91 of them. So the context, the boss made the employees all take aptitude tests. He then publicly mocked one of the hardest working, most effective and longest standing employees for his results. <sighs> Not to mention, like, these online tests are you know, moderately accurate. But also, you could just be having a bad day. And even if you didn't, what the frick? This is... Oh, God. In a room of a thousand people, manager is smarter than zero of them. Yeah, that's true. That is true. If you as a manager go out of your way to create a test for your employees and mock the people with the lowest results, what was the point of it? Like, what kind of environment are you trying to create? I swear to God, this feels like that kind of thing is just like the son of the father who owns the company who got his position for no reason. It's just kind of like mad with power, but hasn't actually earned it. <laughs> the beautiful poetry of Donald Trump, only from Audible. The beautiful poetry of... I can think of a lot of quotes, and I'm not sure if beautiful <laughs> would be... <laughs> would be... <laughs> would be the descriptive term I used for this. <laughs> Guess who got vaccinated today? Not sure what's in it, but I am not doing it. No offense, but you did meth. I think you will survive the vaccine. Yeah. But, but that's not part of the big conspiracy. Ye old like, uh, street corner dealer is much more reliable than, than the medical authorities. Bro, I was looking for my phone with a flashlight on my phone. <laughs> what? Where was it? This book has been challenged, seized, banned, burned in USSR, China, United States. Banned in USSR for being anti-communist. Banned in the US for being pro-communist. The book is 1984, which is neither. It's anti-authoritarian, which tells you a lot. You know, sometimes I wish the joke didn't write itself. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> well, that is true, though. A lot of very um, extreme ideologies typically end up being very authoritarian. A guy asks for money to remove his face tattoo, forgets to keep the same font in the later video. I mean, if you're gonna fake something to beg for money online, at least try to be consistent. You don't have to make it so easy. PETA, we're not going anywhere, Starbucks. Literally, we're super glued to your counter. Not your mom, not your milk. And vegan milk upcharge. Okay, but but like what? <laughs> Hopefully the milk is just gonna get cheaper uh, as time goes on. That that would be cool. But also <laughs> the first shirt just like don't 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 give people trying to fetishize this an idea. Oh my god! But if I if I call you mommy, then it's technically my milk, isn't it? Stop! Cease! You're not doing yourself any favors. Yay! Congratulations! Thanks. We're so excited. Have you picked out any baby names yet? I'm pretty sure we're naming her Rifle. Pronounced like rifle. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Congratulations to my brother Jerry and his stepdaughter. They're expecting a beautiful, healthy girl. I love the name Rifle, and I can't wait to meet my new niece. Can you imagine having to explain that to every teacher as soon as they call out names in school? So, uh, who's here today? Steve, Ryan, Refile. No, it's called Rifle, like the Pew Pew object. Oh. Society if it were runs by the girls and the gays. This is in Singapore's Changi Airport. It is illegal to be LGBTQ in Singapore. Oh god, oh no. <laughs> you could have picked like any other cutesy picture, but no. <laughs> no. One time I was late to practice and coach made me run laps. My dad was the coach and he drove me to practice. I'm trying to picture how that would look. Like, he arrives, you step out of the same car and say, All right, Timmy, you're late! But, Dad, we drove in the same car- We run the laps! And, oh my god, Pa! How Walmart shipped a folding chair. There you go, you have to make sure that you really make the box as big as possible. 
Why do you even sell folding shares if you're not gonna fold them? That's like half the functionality. Ladies, take note. Met this girl online yesterday and she's already trying to learn more about me. Not just <laughs> hook up, it's called conversation. Learn it. Yes, my king. First time I know many things about you. What is the name of your first pet? What is your mother's maiden name? What is the name of the town when you were born? <laughs> She loves you so much she's trying to steal your identity. So I was at Walmart earlier. A lady was looking at frozen turkeys, but she couldn't find one big enough. She asked the stock boy, Do these turkeys get any bigger? He replied with a straight face, No ma'am, they're dead. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's technically the truth. <laughs> Help, I can't afford my student loans. Starbucks new iPhone cable TV. Cocaine? <laughs> Okay, useless major. I love cable TV, though. All right, if today's youth just stop wasting all their money on cable TV. Yeah, Chibi, you can't keep listening to all the radio stations. It's getting too expensive. Today's kids should also sell their horse and wagon. That's usually quite expensive. Then you will be able to afford your student loans. Some girl cried because she got assigned as my partner on a school project. It's tears of joy, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rawr. Give her one. Give her a Cheeto. Mm, give her a Cheeto. It's gonna be beautiful. You are what you eat. Condom naughties does not count. Just hear me out, okay? <laughs> My theory. If you wash your hands with gloves on, did you really wash your hands? Oh, that's right, you know, it's called safe naughties. Naughty is literally being part of the word. But, you know, yes indeed, if you don't catch a little casual STD, did you really do the naughties? Let's read on, shall we? I see your point. But let me ask you this. If I strangled you to death with gloves on, did I really strangle you to death? <laughs> yeah, shut up. What is- what is- oh my god! <laughs> Talk about promoting toxic stuff for absolutely no good reason whatsoever. You're just redefining what- because why? Is this like one of them alpha bros that is like, if you don't do it, no, no, if you do, wait, 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 which type of alpha bro? Because I would love to set up a debate between two different ones, or two distinct different ones. One is like, have the naughties with as many women as possible, alpha chad. And the other one is pretty much, if you have naughties with too many women, then you will absorb the estrogen and become gay, or something like that. Those are two distinct opinions that are like both really wild but they actively contradict each other. I would love to see two of those people go at it. That would be so entertaining. I feel sorry for Netflix-era kids. They will never know the high-stake adrenaline of running to the bathroom fridge bedroom in a single ad break with the reckoning call of siblings screaming, IT'S ON! to send you hurtling back over furniture to get back in time. Couldn't you just pause it? <laughs> oh, my sweet summer child. Hi. I'm dying. That's because we're old and because, um... Uh... <laughs> oh, the sadness. This is incredible! China is testing its new autonomous electric train. Does not need traditional tracks. It runs on a virtual track. Can go anywhere. Mother fricker, that's a bendy bus. <laughs> I deleted and reinstalled my parlor app and it's back up. Thanks for the wrong info. I deleted my ape and there isn't a new one and now mine is gone. Remove this post as its information is wrong. And leave it leave it to um ye, ye oldest tech geniuses on Facebook. <laughs> I had this happen um a bunch of years ago. I I, I was trying to help one of, one of the, the elderies in the family with their laptop. I was trying to help them with, with their bank stuff, and they were like, the internet is gone. Like, what do you mean the internet is gone? No, the internet is gone forever! And apparently they had accidentally deleted the shortcut to their browser on the desktop. And, and the conclusion was that the internet is gone. <laughs> I see how they came to the conclusion. But it was just very funny. Major retailer Green says COVID is a bioweapon because God would never create a fatal illness that harms people. Tell me you've never read the Bible without telling me you've never read the Bible. That's like half the Bible stories. It's all like plagues and, and shite. God. Restaurant review in Pakistan. One star. Very bad quality naan. Expensive with garbage taste. They don't even know how to make pink tea. I am very disappointed. Response from the owner. Thanks, we appreciate you, our feedback. Gondu, we have been closed for over a month, so we don't know where you got your nut from! 
when you want to leave an angry review, but you don't even leave it at the right place. Ah, <sighs> just life performing at top quality. In 2010, Tokyo officials went to congratulate the oldest person in the city on his 111th birthday. He had been dead for 30 years, and his family was enjoying his pension money that they were still receiving. <laughs> this is like when you... When you make up fake kids to get, like, child stimulus, it's like, where are the kids? Oh, they're, uh, playing it, uh, away from here. Just make sure you have enough old relatives, and then you never register their deaths, and you can just collect pensions forever. Man, what a profit scheme. I mean, obviously, it, ha it didn't work for that long. At some point, people are gonna question why your grandma is 200 years old, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> A gang forced Naughty's horror. Three women did force Naughty's on a man for three days after kidnapping man in a taxi and force feeding him energy drinks in South Africa. That's so freaking brain dead. I hate commenters like this. This is probably the most traumatic experience of this person's life ever. But because it's a dude, then it's, you know, because every, every man always likes the naughties, right? Even if it's non-consensual and forceful and you're literally being forced-fed energy drinks. That sounds horrible. Imagine being, like, high on caffeine total while having this happening to you. Dear God, there's some kind of torture stuff from a horror movie. The San Miguel Sheriff. A large boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocking eastbound lane highway. A large boulder the size of what? Ah, anything to not use the metric system. <laughs> You know, large boulders are kind of the size of small boulders. <laughs> r slash ask reddit. If you were revamping the human body and were to give boobs an actual useful function instead of just naughty appeal, what would you have them do? It's 9 a.m. here, and I'm starting the day knowing I can hardly hear something dumber than this today. I don't know, maybe something crazy like feeding our babies? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What made you quit smoking the green? I watched the whole movie on mute and started crying because I thought I was deaf. <laughs> but but couldn't you like hear your own crying though? It's like that should have been it. Like, oh, am I deaf? And then you start crying and you're instantly relieved because you can hear yourself weeping. Wouldn't that have been like the wake up moment? No? No? <laughs> I mean, depending on how you were, maybe. Found this at the bottom of my delivery receipt. Thank you to whomever this was. Delivery instructions. Pretty sure this is the vine guy that does awesome impressions. I swear the delivery instructions are put by whoever orders, though. They are. This is uh, so embarrassing. You could have done this with anything. You could have, like, faked a receipt. You could have faked a fan mail. You could have done just used one of those, you know, text generators uh, online and just like, Oh my god, my delivery guy texted me like, Oh my god, I love your Vince. That would have been fine. Like, that would have been less bustable than this. <laughs> kind of weird how the science always lines up with whatever leftist propaganda needs to be pushed. What? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, if you find yourself on, on the other side of the science at every single toss and turn, maybe it's try to reevaluate your own, your own standpoints on certain things too. You know, that, that can also be something. Humans are riddled with confirmation bias. That's kind of how it works. Especially in politics, people will very often quote things that very much align with, with their specific niche or what they want to prove. Um, there, there's a very big problem with, with bias when it comes to a lot of things with humans. But if you find yourself on the wrong side of what is being discovered, maybe it's time to reconsider that maybe you also have some confirmation bias. It's easy to always assume that everyone else does, but the truth is that we all do. And it's important to do a double take on that for yourself at regular intervals because the world changes, our knowledge changes, we change and we grow up. So your opinion is probably not going to hold up forever, um, whatever it might be about. Or some things might change or it might evolve further and you learn more things about it. And that's okay. That's how it should be. Be opening to change is a good thing. What's up? Bored and studying math. What kind of math? Topology. <laughs> that was a good one. I am studying botomology. Topology is a real subject. Boop. Oh. <laughs> and fun was being. Oh, the sparks are flying. The romance is happening. <sighs> but then, math. Saw someone say they're boycotting any business that requires proof of vaccination to enter. And it's like, babe, it's not a boycott if you're not allowed inside. <laughs> oh, sweaty. I'm not allowed in the store. Well, I'm not coming inside. Yeah, that's that's what we wanted. Conspiracy theorists are so confused. 5G causes COVID. COVID is fake. There is no pandemic. 
Which is it, guys? Yeah, <laughs> all of that, actually. It can't be both. You can't have a fake virus, but also have a tower that spreads the virus. But but if you if you have, like, you know, the, the phones and then the towers, and then we go out and burn the towers, but we can't even tell the difference between the towers, so what ended up happening is people just burned, like, 3 and 4G towers instead, thinking they were, you know, fighting the evil conspiracy when you don't even know which towers are part of your said conspiracy, which kind of proves the point that it's all very stupid. Yeah, let's go. I hate every form of liberalism, especially feminism and rebellious Christian women who virtue signal as though they believe in male authority, when they're nothing but trad tots with a thin veneer of a Christian knees and doctrinal language on top. What the frick? I probably won't even use this app, because now where I live, there are plenty of hot young virgin adult women who are ready to make babies and a me. I doubt you'll be able to compete with that, so good luck. What, so you just made a Tinder profile to not use it? To just, I don't know, be angry at random people that scroll past your profile? <laughs> what is the point of this? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sarah Rector, an 11-year-old black girl, became the richest colored girl in the world in 1913. That quote just makes your skin kind of ickle, doesn't it? When oil was found on the land that the government had allotted to her family. Rector was already a millionaire and was so rich that the Oklahoma legislature declared her as a white person. <laughs> Oklahoma. I would like to award you the highest honor I can bestow. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What? That, that, that's like, that's so wild. You're now legally white. I thought women had their periods forever. When my first period stopped, I assumed the neighbor's dog impregoed me when I pet him. For a month, I believed myself to be carrying a half-human, half-dog baby. This story is brought to you by Ontario Catholic School Sex Ed in the 90s. <laughs> Woo! Knowledge! <laughs> it's Adam and Eve, not even... Dog. Boyfriend with no social media. <laughs> Where you at? How the frick he gonna see this? I am racking my brain for a historical parallel to the courage and fighting spirit of the Ukrainians and coming up empty. How many people have ever stood their grounds against an aggressor like this? It's legendary. I mean, yeah, I agree with that last part. It is legendary. It is incredibly impressive. But you could have just skipped like the, the, the first part of this. It's like, <laughs> you could just say it. It's, this is cool. It's good to stand up against aggressors and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Baby b b p What? I'm not the owner of these photos. Credit to all the photographers taking these beautiful pictures. Oh, I get it. Okay, so it's kind of like, you know when you have an account called, like, food porn? When it's, like, very tasty food and that kind of stuff. It it's, it's that, but babies. But why would you choose this word for babies? This is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. It's not even the first page. It's baby pet too. This is the second time you've done this! My BF got me a hammer-tight ring that breaks when it's absorbed too much negative energy from my life. It only took a month and I need a new one. Look, it cracked. I need to start selling poor quality products and marketing them like this. Oh my god. That would be a good merch idea, wouldn't it? It's like, this is a really crappy shirt. It's gonna wash out instantly, but that means it's absorbed all the negative energy and that disintegrates the logo on the shirt. <laughs> it's Hamadapa Crystal. <laughs> blind man verbally abused by activist, claiming using guide dog is cruel. A blind disability activist has spoken out about he and a blind friend were verbally abused by an animal rights activist who had become angered by the sight of their guide dogs. Yeah, they look to be suffering. Look at those puppers. Oh my god, they're really suffering. Totally not living their best life. Bell Delphi Wealthy. You have no idea how much this hurts. A light bulb can fit in your mouth but cannot be taken out. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. P.S. I am still in pain. Anybody can have any advice? I have removed all the glass in my mouth and taken a painkiller, but it's not really helping. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say that I'm willing to bet money this is a troll. This is this is nothing out of the ordinary here. It's like easy to fake a bit of, bit of the bloods and it's gonna get a hella engagement. My god, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous way of playing the internet. <laughs> I'm only 19, and I pay my own car insurance bills, I have my own place, y'all with 20 plus the living of your parents' law. You live in Indiana. Your total cost per month is probably $2 and a sack of corn. Also, I don't think that's the norm in, in, in this generation to be like 19. I don't, I don't get that. If you, I mean, if that's true, amazing. 
go girl, but it, 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 everyone's willingness to praise you for doing a good job just completely goes out the window when you're using it for nothing but, like, shitting on others. Cease. Remember to drink H2O2! <laughs> YOLO! Like, literally, YOLO, have you, have you had your H2O2 today? <laughs> <laughs> Someone stole my debit card, went and spent $60 at a restaurant, and only left a $4 tip. It's not even your card, and you leave a $4 tip? Unreal. <laughs> Imagine being greedy with someone else's stolen card. No, it's not my money, but tipping? Yuck. Disgusting. A warning, we can't see poo because of this awesome sticker. Oh my god. Is this legal? I don't know, at least they're warning you about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> and it's oddly self-aware, right? It's so oddly self-aware, but it's still so stupid. It's amazing. My 14-year-old daughter was selected by her peers to present her doctoral essay on the stigma of periods to their high school. But the administration doesn't think my daughter should present because the topic is inappropriate. It's like a like, like self-fulfilling... Prophecy, isn't it? We need to reduce the stigma of this topic. Let's talk about it. Oh, no, wait, we can't talk about it. There's too much stigma around it. I visited the United States as a tourist years ago. While being there, I went to a supermarket and asked for some products. When a guy approached me, you have a really funny accent. Where do you come from? Me. Thank you. Still don't know why I thanked him. I am from Germany. Awesome. A few moments of silence. So, uh... Are you from Nazi Germany, Republic of Germany, or Communist Germany? I stared at him, before I realized he expected an answer from me. Uh, actually, there is only one Germany? The other two- No, son, there are three Germanys, you really should know that. I must have looked utterly confused and didn't say- <laughs> How is this real? I love someone, like, trying to explain their own country to them, when they probably have- Never been there, or even close to it, you know, if I'm gonna go on the limb. That is amazing! Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm curious. What's the dumbest idea you have that you nevertheless believe will, if implemented, make the world a better place? If you don't use a turn signal, your car doesn't turn. Brilliant! <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine that? Hey, can we turn right? Sure. Zoom! Like, oh, no, no! It like, unlocks the wheel. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I like when men explain basic things to me because in my mind it's not mansplaining. It's more like when a toddler is really excited to tell you about dinosaurs and you're like, that's so right, cutie. You're so smart. Only one of us is being condescending and it's me. If you have to announce it when you're being condescending, you're doing it wrong. That's a great observation, Sean. <laughs> great job. Look at you being such a big boy with a big brain. When I was four, my dad got pulled over and I screamed, I have to and the cop let my dad go. When he took me to the bathroom, my dad couldn't stop laughing after I told him I didn't have to poo. I just didn't want him to get a ticket. Sure hope my kids returned the favor. That is genius. Oh my god. Talk about the family playing on the same team. This is what I'm talking about. That's absolutely amazing. Yes. DMZ. Britney Spears stopped to use the restroom at a gas station? Britney Spears stops at a gas station. Use this restroom. Oh my god. This is this is amazing. Do, do you hear? Oh my god. Do you hear that topic? It's absolutely amazing. You, the news. The, the news. Man, if this is the bar for news stations, I can probably open my own newspaper at this point. A YouTuber says random stupid meme in overly Swedish accent. Breaking. Did you know? In the 90s, Arsenal Soccer Club had a player called Davis Dix. When he was injured, the newspaper wrote, Arsenal to play without Dix. The coach was upset, so the newspaper changed the headline to read, Arsenal to play with Dix out. A record number of women attended the match. <laughs> You really know how to win over an audience. You should be thanking him. My god, you just intrigued an entire new demographic. This is gorgeous. Objection calls for hearsay. Oh my god. Yeah, I saw some of this. It was so uh, frustrating and funny at the same time. Another one. <laughs> he had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, gorgeous. Gorgeous. He said, yes, they have. Okay. 
Jews in this herd are told hearsay. There we go. Nailed this. Booyah. Everything is hearsay if you really want it to be. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yes. I'll move to strike this as hearsay. Ah, nice. Nice. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Disturbing. Yes, I looked at papers. Maybe they're hearsay. So I can read it out of someone's article, but not from the man's mouth. It's a, it's a pretty simple yes or no question, which is You'd like other to be sure, right? no, other nothing simple in this case. Other than October is two months before December. That's correct. Oh, that's hearsay. Um, that's hearsay. This was a document that you signed as part of your divorce proceedings, correct? That's my signature, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Depp, that is your signature on the right, correct? Yes, it is. This is a document you signed. Right? For the third time, that is my signature, yes. That was a document you signed. Oh my god! Please! Yes! The answer that is yes! That's the one that I three times before. <sighs> well, I just I wanted to make clear that you signed that <clears throat> in the summer of 2006. It's very clear. Thank you very much, sir. My god, this whole... There are so many memes coming out of this. I feel so bad that this kind of thing had to go to the extent it had having something so private be so public and having so many opinions and eyes on it cannot be easy what an absolute nightmare but at least the memes are good i guess this would be incredibly sad <gasps> oh no the pupper with the ball if the gate wasn't open <laughs> sometimes the shortest way isn't always the easiest one. Let that be a lesson for anyone watching this video. There is no rush to achieve something in life. Rushing into things unprepared or taking the wrong right or trying to forcefully push something through is not always the way to go. It's okay for you to take your time, figure out what you want in life, figure out the path you want to take. Um, and sometimes what seems to be the shortest option isn't even what you want to do or isn't even a feasible one. So don't worry about things taking too long in life. Um, you are allowed to change directions to achieve your goal. That is perfectly okay, and happiness doesn't come easy. Oh yeah, there we go. Wholesome twist, but also pepper. Oh, that's so romantic. I like how they're trying to like rescue the food as well. He's like holding it, like maybe. Maybe we can still eat this if we dry it off, right? It's just a bit of ocean water and sand. <laughs> still good, right? We're asking people to be on the lookout for a man who robbed a store. Okay, suspect wanted, right? Yeah, I think we do. We do have his description. Can we take that? Oh yes, Let's yes, take please. His description. <laughs> okay, this is the guy. There. Uh... <laughs> they wanted people in Pennsylvania to be out on the lookout for. Okay. He's got, uh, he's got a nose and some hair that goes like that, and he was, uh, he was wearing a hat at the time of this particular, yes, hair goes particular like crime. That. He's got kind of a chin that comes down to a, almost a point. Stands about five feet four inches tall. There it is. Get a good look for yourself. Oh, and now I'm getting word that police actually caught oh, yes, this guy. Thanks to the sketch, no doubt. So, here's a picture of the real guy next to the <laughs> sketch that led to his arrest. Flawless! Oh, I like how the image doesn't even have eyebrows. Oh. Right on top of the chicken. Okay, this looks weird. So you smeared the chicken and in butter. Actually put that right back in the fridge and use no. that later. No, 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 you can't, oh my, you can't do that. How, is this like a cooking show? No, you can't, it's, no, don't let anything, like, touch in common with raw chicken. This is, no, no. Oh my god, that's satisfying. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? When everything in life is going according to plan, and then all of a sudden it doesn't.
Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. You beautiful bean, remember that you smell amazing, you are amazing, you deserve an amazing day, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.